With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official team wear supplier for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Good morning, welcome to the next round of the 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship. This week we're at Donington Park National Circuit for round four. In qualifying, well, it was pretty much the same old story that we've seen so far in this championship. Sobrand takes yet another pole, but it's Ben Hackerson who splits up the top two of Antonides and Sobrand. So, XL Designs in second and third with Van Delden in fourth, head of Tony Bird, and then his brother Barry Bird for Tech Speed Racing. Seventh is Matt Sawyer, head of Brian Larson, a new racer joining Acorn Printing. He's ahead of Simon Jackson, and then it's Neil Bamber and Phil Gregory for Seagate and Synology. Ricky Green's in the second of the Bowden Solutions cars ahead of Darren Ford. Russell Barnes in 14th in the first of the Motorsport Auctions cars. He's ahead of David Waldock and Ellen McCain. 17th it's Ryan Walker ahead of Martin Galenicki. So Motorsport Auctions not having a great week yet again. Ian Robson's next for Bentley Boys Racing ahead of Chris Puttrell with David Rowand in 21st. Another new driver is Sean Burnside. He's in 22nd ahead of Scott Malcolm. Jan Elizabeth in 24th followed by Ian Thornan and Francis Lennell. Akta is the only driver this week not setting the time for Acorn Printing. It's another race and another poll for Sober on this week so we're going to jump on board with him now and take a tour around Donington Park National. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bowdoin Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with a Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. Riding on board with Sobrand, about to start his fastest lap of the qualifying session here at Donington. His previous lap put him into first place, a 116.950. Very close to the top this week in qualifying, the top three were the A drivers to get into the 1 minute 16s. So now we're coming down and through the craner curve, down towards the old hairpin. Such a fantastic part of the circuit, if we get some speed up through here. So after round three, XL Designs lead the team standings, they're ahead of Seagate and Synology by 9 points, and Team Clock work out further behind, 33 points behind the leaders. So Brand will be hoping to catch them today. We now make our way up the hill. This is under Starkey's Bridge and into Swanch Curve leading up to McLean's. You've got to be careful not to cut off too much of the track there. You can pick up a slow down penalty. We'll ride the Rumble Strip here and then get an early entrance into McLean's, keeping it nice and tight. Once again, not running too wide. We're now making our way up the blind part of the circuit up towards Coppice. First part of Coppice, turn in early once again. Keep it nice and tight once again and hoping to get a good run out of here onto the back straight. This will be the place to pass as we're coming up to the final two corners through Roberts. We're not using the Grand Prix circuit so we're going right left instead of left right here. We're coming up to here, keep an eye out for your braking markers on the right hand side. Pick a spot, get turned in nice and early, not too high over the rumble strips there. Once again, keeping it nice and tidy. Sobrand coming across the line to complete his fastest lap of the session. Fantastic driving once again from Sobrand. Only 0.3 of a second separating the top three. Will he be able to maintain that and pull away from everybody else in the race? The Synology DS216 Play is a two-bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high-capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. Drivers now waiting to get round four underway here at Donington. Hopefully we'll have a cleaner first corner than we did last week at Lime Rock Park. So fifth place there, one of the Beard Brothers. That was a poor start from them. Being caught by the chasing pack just behind. Somebody's been left on the grid at the back as well. So into the first corner we go, it is Sobrand who leads from Hackerson and Antonides. Further back it is Van Delden and then Brian Larson. He's just been overtaken by Tony Bird. 26 drivers now trying to make their way through the Craner Curve. So hopefully we'll get through here without any incidents. Everyone bunching up, coming down now towards the old hairpin. Coming into the old hairpin, we're watching Darren Ford now. He's driving for the Bentley Boys Racing Team. Watch Ricky Green in the Bowden Solutions car. Slight tap in the back from him. That spins Ricky off and into the gravel as well as Darren Ford he tried to rejoin but damage to the car you can see it pulling slightly there so Darren fighting with it and sticking it into the wall deciding to give up and rather than carry on stay there and take it back to the pits focusing on Jan Elizabeth just ahead of them is Scott Malcolm and Martin Gwenicke next to Jan is David Rowland and Chris Buttrell coming into first corner. Contact between them, Chris managing to keep out the way there. Lucky to get away with that, no damage to the car, so everyone carrying on with the race. It's not been a great start to the year, Acorn Printon haven't had much to shout about. Keep an eye on Jan Mazver in front though, he's had a spin, Ryan Walker tries to go around the outside, but gets clipped by Jan as he tries to get the car going the right way round, Ryan then putting it into the wall. 
fantastic scrap going on on lap number three. This was Russell Barnes following David Rowland for Bentley Boys Racing. Russell looking to make the move up the inside, but the traffic getting bunched up just behind was Sean Burnside for XL Designs, one of the new drivers. He went into the back of David Rowland's care. Fortunately for David, he was close enough to the pits to pull straight in and get repairs straight away. Lap number five now, we're following Ricky Green. Now he had already had an incident earlier on on lap number one through into the old hairpin. He's dropped 12 places, then gets it wrong coming through Roberts and into the wall. Another driver deciding to come straight across and into the pits. Bit of a weird pit entrance though from Ricky. It's probably the most entertaining pit entrance you will ever see with Ricky rolling the car as he made his way in. Chris Cottrell was off to a fairly decent start, he'd moved up 9 places into 13th, he was following Scott Malcolm and his teammate Martin Gwenicke. Again through Roberts, drivers getting it wrong through here, Martin slides, Scott goes into the side of him and Chris nowhere to go. Yet again another driver coming straight into the pits, quick thinking from Chris, and yet another driver almost rolling his car on his way in following Ricky's move from earlier on. Antonides has managed to get his way back up into the familiar spot chasing Sobrand for the lead of the race. Coming down the main straight getting the drag on Sobrand coming in towards the first corner. Antonides deciding this was the time to make the move so this is lap number 8 now. Coming in and taking the place from Sobrand. Antonides and Sobrand dominating this championship. You can see as we switch the rear view camera just how much of a gap they've opened up with around a quarter of the race gone. Alan McCain had moved up two places into 13th, but as we've seen so many times throughout this championship already, Kaz getting the rear tyres onto the grass, just that small amount. That put Alan off track and into the wall, rear spoil first, managing to get the car turned around, rejoining the track, but a trip to the pits was needed for repairs to his car as well. Darren Ford driving for Bentley Boys Racing, he dropped down 11 places overall and was currently sat in 23rd on lap number 16. Coming down through the Carina curves, he was another driver just to touch the grass ever so slightly on the way into the old hairpin. That put him into a slide, impressive control from Darren, but slight contact between him and Scott Malcolm, with Darren pulling off the track and needing yet more repairs to the car this week. After pit stop, Sobrand was back out in the lead, but yet again it was Antonides right on his tail. Coming through the Crane curve, lap number 19, Sobrand pulling out the way slightly, maybe not defending his line as much as he could have, letting Antonides back through for the lead of the race. An impressive performance from Matt Talea. He had moved up 15 places overall and put the 58 car into 11th. That was before he spun at the old hairpin, managing to dodge all the traffic. No damage to the car, lucky for Matt and getting it back the right way round, carrying on with his race on lap number 23. Lap 24 and the lead of the race change hands once again. Antonides this time coming into the pits, so Sobrand would take the lead. Antonides hot on the brakes, try to get through the traffic as he came into the pit lane as well, trying to save as much time as possible. Fantastic scrap going on a little bit further down. This was Phil Gregory and Martin Glenicky. So it was Seagate and Snoggy versus Motorsport Auctions. Lap number 28 coming through across the start finish line. So Phil has got the outside line coming into turn number one. Will he leave enough room for Martin or will he shut the door? He tries to shut the door. Martin stays to the inside, gets the move complete up through here, coming down through the Craner curves. That put Martin up into ninth position, moving him up nine places overall. The pit stop strategy making a massive difference in this championship and as you can see if Antonides had retaken the lead of the race he would stay out front and take a victory here at Donington Park. Another fantastic result for XL Designs, we're going to head to the results now and see if that helped them open up a gap in the overall team standings. Motorsport Auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. A great week for XL Designs this week with Antonides taking the win ahead of So Brandon, Ben Hackerson in third. Van Delden's in fourth, head of Barry Bird and Tony Bird in sixth. Neil Bamba finishing seventh with Brian Larson, our new driver for Acorn Printing in eighth. Phil Gregory finished ninth, head of Martin Gwenicke and David Waldock. Twelfth was Russell Barnes for Motorsport Auctions, their second car within the top half of the table. Scott Malcolm was in thirteenth, followed by Simon Jackson and Matt Talea. Alan McCain's in sixteenth with Bowden Solutions, with Chris Buttrell in seventeenth. Ian Robson finished eighteenth, head of new driver Sean Burnside, with Jan Malesva in twentieth. David Rowland for Bentley Boys Racing in twenty-first, ahead of Francis Linnell and Darren Ford. In Thorne, the last of the Motorsport Auctions car in twenty-fourth. Ryan Walker and Ricky Green, they were quite a few laps down. So what does that do to the driver's standings? Well, Antonides and Sobrand are now tied on 91 points each. 
both Neil Bamba and Phil Gregory go in strong for Seagate and Synology. Van Delden's in 5th head of the Bird Brothers, Alan Piercy for XL Designs in 8th, Simon Underhill the first of the Acorn Printing Cars in 9th head of David Waldock and Ben Hackison, Darren Ford in 12th head of Matt Talia and Martin Glenarchy. Chris Butchell is followed by Simon Jackson. In 17th, it's McCain followed by Melisver and Scott Malcolm. In Thorn, in 20th, Andrew Whitehead, he's pulled out the XL Designs team. 22nd is Russell Barnes. Brian Larson in his first race, 13 points for him. Ricky Green in 24th. David Rowland and Ian Robson are up next, followed by Martin Brandon and Francis Linnell. Jonathan Beresford, the last of the Seagate and Synology drivers. Sean Burnside, the other new driver for XL Designs in 30th. Ryan Walker and Gary Bradshaw at the back. A Dakia Bakhtar has dropped out the top 32 drivers. On to the team stand-ins, well, XL Designs are pulling away, they are quite ahead now of Seagate and Synology, they're followed by Team Clockwork. Tech Speed Racing are in 4th, head of Motorsport Auctions and Boning Solutions, with Bentley Boys Racing in 7th and Acorn Printing bringing up the rear in 8th. That is it from us this week at Donington Park, we're off next week to Okayama Short Course for round number 5, we'll hope you'll join us for that. Thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon, bye bye.